good morning. Welcome to KHC Singles Devotional for the 25th day of February 2021. I'm Alfreda Ambevasi. Our topic today is how to love your fiancé with tender, loving care in God's way. There is nothing wrong in loving your wife or wife-to-be. There is nothing wrong in thinking about her. In fact, the scripture advises you to do that. Before you say hooray, however, there is a way you love your fiancé and there is a way you love your wife. Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant robe. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times, and be thou ravished always with her love. Proverbs 5, 18 to 19. This is talking to married people and not singles in courtship. It didn't say, rejoice with the fiancé of thy youth or with your wife to be. So verse 19 clearly establishes that God does not want you fondling and caressing each other. That is always the beginning of compromise. When two people who are genuinely in love start petting each other, they will always do more and more each time they meet until they find themselves entangled in the web of compromise. I know how your body feels when you are in love. I was once in love back then on the campus in the early 90s and oh my god, your body is mostly on fire. You can continue to spiritualize it and deceive yourself that nothing can happen until you find yourself messing up. Or you can tell your fiancé, please, you have got to help me. I am in love with you and this is how my body feels. We must not compromise. Always caution me if I am being inappropriate. And sometimes it is the lady that needs to say that to the guy. You see, when you do that, you are consciously protecting your destiny and preserving your relationship with God, which is what will make your relationship work out and lead to marriage. How do you love a lady appropriately? Number one, you are the protector of her body and her virtue. A good man will say from the very first day, I love you dearly, and because of that, I have a strong physical desire each time I see you. But we will not compromise. We will obey God's principles in order that our courtship is protected. We will put our body under. I will not allow my body to take charge and give me direction. I will allow my spirit to gain ascendancy, and I will not lose my testimony. You make up your mind to wait and not compromise. That way, a trust will be established and your intended marriage will be founded on a good foundation. Two, never lift your hands against her. I have heard cases of singles in courtship that have been beaten severally by their fiance. I have also had a few cases of ladies who slap the guys. Well, you shouldn't cope with any form of physical abuse on any level in your courtship. Don't suffer silently, thinking it will get better after marriage. Deliver yourself like a bird and fly. If he is used to donating a few slaps here and there for you, and you still cling to him in sexual lust, something is seriously wrong. It is either he controls you with his money, or there is a soul tie affected through premarital sex. Whichever way, you need to deliver yourself quickly. Don't go through all of life being treated like a doormat. You have a destiny to fulfill and don't allow anybody to play the role of God in your life. Meditation for the day. For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord and he pondereth all his goings. Proverbs 5.21 Prayer for the day. Number one. O oh Lord, give me the grace to put my body under. Two, help me to always be under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Three, Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to honor my partner all the time. Confession for the day. I am not being inappropriate. I know how to love my partner. I am discerning. I am a protector, not a scavenger. I will honor my partner in all things. I will not lift my hands against my partner. I have the strength to leave every wrong relationship. My esteem is not crushed. I severe myself from every known 
an unknown soul type. In Jesus' name, amen. Action plan for the day. Decide to love God's way. We'd like you to partner with us in cases in our club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international videos, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandnotes.com slash video. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage, and these books are available on Amazon and on Kada Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandnotes.com slash books. If you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch it with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Bodita, UI Road, in the city of Ibadan. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock, and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You have a lot of resources for your soul.